full Gouda cheese. This shit is the most amazing shit I ever had in my fucking ass. Yo. I had to call the fucking fire department. I was pulling that motherfucking open. I was pulling that motherfucking metal shit open with all my fucking strength. Let me show you. Let me fucking show you. I was like... This was the most intense thing that ever happened in my life. And all I kept thinking about was Final Destination and every horror movie that took place in a goddamn elevator. And so I'm opening it, I'm opening it, and it won't budge. Then the elevator did like a little fucking trickle. You know, like a little trickle, like after you like, you like after the cum, after the big orgasm, there's like a little trickle. That's what the elevator did. It did a, you know what I'm saying? And I was like, okay, maybe this is when I should let go of the other half of the elevator that I was able to pull back. So I let it go. And then all of a sudden, like the gates of hell, that shit busted wide open, baby. Oh my God. I was like, why me? Why me? My friend. Such a beautiful soul. The first time she comes over to my house, and look, we get fucking cursed in the vagina. No, where you stay at? Fuck out of here, Viva Labrie 21. Hold on. My friend is such a sweet person. She was just laughing the whole entire fucking time. Like, bro, had it been me, I would have been hyperventilating and just freaking out. But she's such a fucking G, man. God damn. Like, fuck. Can we be friends? It depends. Have you ever seen Cruel Intentions? Exactly. So when you move in, take a deep breath and drink that Clico. Mm, I already drank all of it, so no. But the deep breath has helped. I feel like I'm more stressed out than she is because it's like, Jesus. Wait, your friend, my friend was stuck in the elevator. See, and then I feel like you guys be playing me like, when there are real life terrible ass situations, you guys really think I would just abandon my genuine friends just to just to be on live. Like when that girl got shot and she was on the floor and she was like <laughs> And she was laughing and her friend was like, Oh let me sign off this live. Yo, that was not me. If my friend gets shot, if my friend gets shot. I'm flipping this motherfucking phone over. I'm running to my friend. I might not think to turn off the goddamn live, but I'm running to my friend to make sure she's not dead. The fuck? She was like... <laughs> she said... That was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. She was so happy and positive. I've never seen somebody so happy and positive and shot in my life. It was the most beautiful thing. Like, she was so happy. Her friend was so happy. Like, And the men, they clearly weren't trying to kill her. Was this some type of gang initiation shot? Like, welcome home, bitch? Like, what the fuck? Like, why was everyone so happy? And it was, like, in slow motion. It was so chill. But maybe that's just how shootings be. Like, just so chill. But, like, that's not how I imagined it. That's not how I ever imagined it. <laughs> Wait, Aziza, you were? Damn. How are you? Reply to my DM, Ari. No. The last time I replied to somebody in my DM, 
I almost was like, I'm going to be your wife. And then I realized, no, no, this could be really dangerous, even though you are so fucking fine. Even though you one of the sexiest niggas that I've ever seen in my life and in real life. Even though you got some of the most beautiful music I've ever heard in my fucking life. It's dangerous. Danger! Get on the floor! But you know why? This is why. Been so long since I've had schlong. So please tell me, baby, won't you take me out so we can fuck? Been so long, watch been and on. So please tell me what it is that you wanna see. You hear that? That's my bones cracking. You know what? I have to admit something. I'm sorry, this is dark. But I, I shouldn't go here, but I'm going to just tell y'all how I feel. So I accidentally went on Twitter because I saw my Rihanna video was, hey, shut up. I saw my Rihanna video was going viral and I was like, all right, I want to see if there were any other videos that went viral. And I typed in my name and then the word annoying came up. And then I realized there's mad people that think I'm annoying. And I'm just like, yo. You think I'm so fucking annoying, ho? Well, guess what? Meet me at the goddamn Walmart. Meet me at the goddamn TJ Maxx. Meet me at the goddamn motherfucking McDonald's, bitch. Because I still eat my fucking McDonald's, bitch. You know I'm a whole different level type of chocolate. I eat McDonald's. I eat McGriddle still. You really want to do this? I eat apple pies. Here's the proof. I eat apple pies still. You think I'm so annoying? Annoying D's. You think I'm so annoying? See me. See me. You know what's annoying? How fucking cool I am when I do this. And you wish you could do that. So I was like, damn. But I'm okay now because I realize it's all right. There's a lot of people who do think I'm not annoying. Been so long since I've got slung. So please tell me what it is when I pop this pussy. So yeah, like y'all, it's hard. It's hard being a singer in, sorry if there was spit. It's hard being a singer in this industry because I just be like, ooh, you are fine. But then I'm like, no, it's not worth it. I cannot, I cannot. So I stay in the house. I stay in the house with the goddamn locks, very locked. And, and, I, and, I, and I, I, don't, I don't consider going nowhere. I just want you to know, the struggle is real, but I stay in the goddamn house. Can you pronounce my name? Kaylila. Kaylila. Hi, Kaylila. I like your name. Where is G? He over here stressed out, sleeping on the floor. Oh, my baby hungry. My baby is hungry. Oh. this for all the people out there that think I'm special ed well I find that a motherfucking honor because special ed people are beautiful and there's nothing wrong and what are we dumb ignorant and fucking kindergarten you make fun of people who are special oh what does that make you a cool person to make fun of someone who's a little different from you you're actually a piece of shit fuck a piece of shit soulless fuck I pray to God I'm special ed, because guess what? Special ed people be successful. They be successful. You think I'm loud? I can get louder. 
Special ed people are intelligent, they're beautiful, they're sweet, they're more thoughtful than your fucking weak ed self. You're a weak ed. So I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad that I can be considered special. Let me tell you something, it's all fun and games. Until your aunt you just find out tomorrow is special ed and then you're just like, damn, I'm a piece of shit, exactly. Your aunt is special ed. Your sister is special ed. Your baby is special ed. And that is okay. And that is a beautiful thing. But why are we making fun of people with special ed? Can we just have a serious conversation right now? You know what? No conversing. No conversing. Meet me outside. Meet me outside. I just want to talk to you. I just want to have a nice, genuine poetry slam session. I just want to have a nice, genuine deaf comedy jam session. Who are you? A soulless fuck. Special ed people are the most beautiful people. Special ed people are running our country. Special ed people are running the churches, running the clubs, running the goddamn metro system. And you want to judge them, degrade them, put them down. No, they are the leaders of our world. They, they see things differently than you and I and will save us from the apocalypse that's coming for your fucking... depreciating vagina. But I love you. I love you regardless. What? I complexity. Complexity, I love you. Thank you so much for showing love. I love you too, Dexter. I love you so much, you guys. But no, seriously, like, I don't want to make it like, oh, she make a fun. No, like, special people are really beautiful, you know? And so I really do feel like it's an honor, but it's just like, just be careful. Like, when you ooze a little bit of ignorance, you know, don't be careful. Let me just enlighten you. Let me just enlighten you. Let me just enlighten you for two seconds because you got me all the way fucked up. Well, I love y'all. It's time for me to get out of here. We took it a little too far this time. But I have things to fucking do. I have things to fucking do. Child, I got on here and you talking about vagina and I'm screaming. I'm so sorry, Dexter. But sit then, Asante. I tried. It didn't move. It didn't move. Tish, I'm about to call an Uber to the studio because baby girl is... <sighs> Did I tell you that? Well, never mind. I know I already told you. It's time to get a feel. Now, I never even noticed until this guy was just like, you need a feel. And now I look at him like, well, I guess I do. When you going to pay for it? Is that a new apartment? Yes. Oh, do y'all want to see my chairs? All right, so these are my new babies. These are my new babies. It's um, my favorite chairs ever. Okay, that's my baby. This is my other baby. So we got two of them. I don't need you to show you the other one. Thank you, Dexter. So these are my, these are my bar stools. To me, every detail is really important. And when you focus on like every detail, like these wine glasses. I, I guess I do like to entertain every now and then. So I really like a nice little cute ass, like, you know, situation. Like, 
Sorry, I made bacon. We had bacon and um, truffle cheese today. Cool shit, right? Um, we, we, it was fun. We had a lot of fun. Let me put this, let me put this truffle cheese away. Let me put this truffle gouda in the goddamn refrigerator, baby. Seriously, if you ever want the best smoothie of your life, get mango, strawberry, apple, ginger. When they say, oh, do you want real apple juice or, or apples? Apples. I'm coming to you for fresh juice. Why would I want fake apple juice? So I say real apples, but I don't do it like that. But I just be mad every time they do that to me. Like, what you think? You think I'm a... After going this healthy, you think I'm gonna want some juicy juice? After going this healthy from a drink for a drink from scratch, you think I'm gonna want some juicy juice in this motherfucker? Come on! Hi, girlfriend and Tish. <sighs> Sorry, but people be, and then she be like, I know I told y'all this already, but then she be like, oh, uh, smoothie's gonna cost extra. Because I like to mix the smoothie and the juice together. Well, it's not my fault you freeze the goddamn mango and strawberry, Whole Foods. More like swole foods. As in you're doing too much. This is the best drink you'll ever have in your fucking life. But anyway. Sorry. Oh. And I also stocked up, stocked up on my kale apple ginger drink. That's my shit. That's my shit. Got some almond milk. This is for the guests. I don't really indulge in this because I know it's like, you know, Simply Lemonade, I love you. I'll take a check. But for now, since you're not, I'm not on your radar, I will say that, you know, this cane sugar is not going to help me. It's not helping me. Yeah, 26 grams of sugar. When literally you could just put like some apple in there and it'll be, it's world's naturally beautiful sweet sugar, you know? All right, what drink is it? Oh, yeah, so my green juice that I get is um, kale, apple, ginger. Are you our piece of work? What you mean? Are we 614? Interesting way to organize the drinks. Look, I've been trying to... Let me tell you something, motherfucker. I've been trying to organize my life. I don't need you judging me. Oh, I don't need you judging me. All right? I'm in the process of... Getting my home together, okay? Like, like I, I just I just took the desk outside of the boxes. I just took my, you know what I'm saying? I don't have time to be organizing my refrigerator. I don't even have time to organize the fluids of my private parts. I am taking things one step at a time. I know like you move into your house and you're the type of person who gets your furniture. Oh, I'm about to go to freaking Ashley's and my furniture is going to be fucking ready right now. Well, guess what? I like to think about what I want. I like to think about what I want and I like to plan that shit. And guess what? I know it might take a year for it to come, but that's okay. It's what I want. It's what I want. So yeah, I ordered these bar stools a month ago and they just got here. So what? Hi, Fora. Hi, Fora. You always come in here when I'm just freaking gyrating. Aggressively. One step at a time with Jordan Sparks. I feel you. Yes. Step at a time. I'm falling in love 
Baby, you know that I am not on drugs, yeah. One step at a time. Ah, ah, ah. One step at a time, yeah. Hey, 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 hey. You need you real blunt, girly? No. We don't do real drugs over here. Hey, what's up? Come to Dallas. I'll buy you Chick-fil-A. That is the sweetest thing anyone has ever said. But that's not enough. I want a gift. I want an expensive gift. Because I be giving people big gifts. Big gifts. Did I tell you about my old therapist? All right, I'm going to tell y'all because I feel like y'all haven't heard this story. One time I had this therapist, it was in DC. She was cool, really sweet, right? And she was like, yeah, I used to date this guy. I mean, I used to be married to this guy. Big dick, big dick. But he just didn't know what to do with it. But my husband now, so amazing, so passionate. I was like, damn. And I realized Therapy wasn't for me because every time I tend to get into these situations where I'm listening to them talk and it's like I'm not saying anything. I'm not getting anything out. Let me get my feelings out. Let me get my stories out. But I'll never forget how she said, big dick, big dick. <laughs> ah, yo, let me tell you something. That's why I say size is really not a factor because let me tell you something. It don't matter. It really does not matter sometimes. Most of the time. Half time sometimes I do. It don't matter. Because, like, you guys, sometimes it'll be big and they have no motion. They have no motherfucking motion. Or sometimes it may be a slinky. And it's just like, well, what we about to do with that? Huh? Honey. Well, what the fuck we about to do with that? This ain't preschool. This ain't no Nickelodeon fucking festival event no put that slinky away and bring me something fucking rock hard but anyway moving on i love you guys i have to get out of here sorry dexter it's just because people really will say, oh, like, I need it to be big. Not if it's on slanky. Not if it's on goddamn motherfucking skunk or squirrel. I need you on, like, afterlife stiff. That's what I need you on. I need you on stainless. I need you on steel. I need you on goddamn motherfucking this teapot right here. Copper. Copper. I need you on this vouv, cliche, cliche. I need you on my motherfucking wine glass. All of this, the candle, the goddamn fucking Simply Lemonade. I need you on Perrier, baby. I need you even on this goddamn fucking plant right here. You know? But I love you guys. I'm gonna get out of here because I have a lot of important things to do tonight. Tonight. <laughs> Tonight Don't be showing off your little crib Now I do what I want Challenge What's up oh. Okay Just G Need you on Perrier baby Oh, good night, Eat West 614. Sorry, I scared you into a sleep. I scared you into a slumber. My bad, baby. That wasn't my ass. That was a car from outside. But I love you guys. I'm going to get out of here because there are productive things I have to get involved in. My dog is so sad. He's been sleeping all day. Thank you, Spike Leak. You're beautiful. All right. Good night. Live, love, laugh, underscore 21.
<laughs> no, but seriously, um, you guys are really sweet. Y'all are really, really sweet and nice. And uh, thank you for showing love to me and just being like really kind and like loving on me. Because, I mean, I guess this is a weirdness over here, but you guys really appreciate it. And I appreciate you guys for appreciating it because I know... I mean, it's a blessing to be appreciated for just being like yourself and, you know, and just being crazy and wild. It's like really sweet because, you know, I mean, growing up in school, I was always the outcast. So, like, this is cool that you guys care. But I love you. I'm going to get out of here because I want to be productive tonight. You know, Tish, thank you. But I don't think I'm an actress. I think this is just who I am, which is... Potentially unfortunate. But. Look at them edges. They snatched as fuck, honey. They gone. Bye, babies. Be safe tonight. When you have sex, wrap that motherfucking dick up like it's a goddamn fucking 25th of December. Wrap it up. Better to be weird than boring. Thanks, Miss Ruins. That's really sweet. Let us see your dog. Okay, I mean, hi, Lineker. I love you with your amazing ass. Hey baby. Hi baby. Oh. Oh. Hi. 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 Don't worry. I'm going to take you out right now. Then we're going to go to the studio, okay? So sleepy. You've been a good baby all day. Love you. You know, you know there are teens watching your lives. There are teens watching my lives. Sit your little ninth grade ass down. You, Cheryl, 10th grader, sit your ass down. 11th grader, sit your fast ass down. 12th grader, you, stand in the corner. You gonna stand for this one, listen. Life is about to get real. There's going to be people judging you, telling you, you can't be whatever the fuck you want to be. Let me tell you something, little fuck-ass high schooler. You can do whatever you want. The biggest mistake people make is they go out here and they be a little fucking stripper because their mom wanted them to be. Listen, if you don't want to be a stripper, you don't fucking have to be. If you want to be a fucking little firefighter, do it. You want to be a prostitute? Fucking do it. You want to be a goddamn fucking naked doctor? Do it. Do something different and do it big. Do it fearlessly. Listen, you got this shit. The world is yours. Sorry for spitting. My mouth is in a process of dentistry. But listen, the world is yours. You are a future. Whitney Houston, seriously. If you want to be a freaking singing ass, singing ass legend, you can do that. You want to be an actress ass hoe, you can do that. You want to be the leader of fucking Def Jam, you can do that. You want to be a fucking police officer and change how they fucking doing that shit. And you want to help keep the black people alive and help keep them from being shot for just being black. Do that. You want to be a goddamn fucking phenomenal ass teacher, principal, you can do it. Don't let no hoe in your family tell you that you cannot. Seriously, you're going to have aunts like, I know you want to be a goddamn fucking marine biologist, but we don't do that over here. We are ushers of the church for free. Aunt Mabeth, get the hell out. That's what you tell your Aunt Mabeth. Get the hell out, Aunt Mabeth. I am not going to be an usher in the church for free. Maybe for 20 an hour, but not for free. Okay, you see where I'm going with this? Be strong.
Be strong, my sweet little high school ass fox. Be strong. The world is about to hit you crazy with all kinds of fucking left UFC hooks, uppercuts, drags. You're going to have bruises everywhere. Protect your peace. Protect your pussy. Protect your dick. And protect that ass. Listen. It's going to be hard, but it's going to get good. But then it's going to get depressing. But then it's going to get fucking amazing and incredible. And you're going to be like, wow. Wow. These finances are amazing. And, and you're going to finally be able to buy your fucking bar stools. You're, yo, let me tell you something. I was looking at my keys that were on the floor. I was like, oh my God, I have keys. Do you know how long it took me to get some keys? Do you know how good it's going to feel when you finally have keys? And when you finally use them keys to open up your house? When you finally use them keys to open up your car? It's going to be amazing. So work that ass. Work that goddamn motherfucking ass, whether it's on that pole or whether it's in the goddamn gym, baby. Don't stop. Don't stop. And stop procrastinating. You wondering why you're slipping. Look, I know academics are some bullshit. I know that shit sucks. But listen. You want college? You genuinely want college? You gotta, you gotta sacrifice some things. Pro, stop procrastinating. Study. Do some creative ways to memorize them goddamn motherfucking social studies ass subjects. Make it into, turn it into a song. Turn it into a role play of porn. Anything, memorize it and do a great job on that goddamn test. It's your gateway. If you want it to be your fucking little ass gateway, it's your gateway to the college of your dreams. This your last year in high school. Do it and do it big. And most importantly, when you have sex, wrap up that vagina. Wrap up that penis. Wear boxers. Wear panties. Cover yourself in the blood of Jesus. When you decide to bust it open for that fine ass looking Jerry, when Jerry calls your ass, say, Jerry, I got something for you. Do a little condom dance. Start juggling them condoms like you in a goddamn circus. You young ho! It's important. It's important. Sounding like an Everest commercial. <laughs> I'm sorry. But literally, it's important. It's important. Trust Mama Ari. Trust Auntie Ari. Okay? Protect your peace. Protect your peace. Because me and my friend, we had a beautiful conversation. And we, we realized that there's a lot of people. It has nothing to, it may have nothing to do with your ass. Right? It may have nothing to do with your ass. But they might just hate women. They might just hate men. They might just have a vendetta against that ass, okay? And it has nothing to do with you. It could be your gender. It could be how you move. It could be your religion. It could be your thought process. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Protect your peace. Be smart. Get to know people. Or fuck it. Fuck them. Fuck them. Okay? But do it peacefully. Or loudly, whatever you want. Just be careful. Protect your peace. Protect your protect your soul. Protect your boobs. Cause sometimes they tug on them too hard. What the fuck is wrong with you? What the fuck is wrong with you? This this these are not stress balls. These are not stress balls. 
They're sensitive. I love you guys. This has gone way left. It's time for me to get out of here. I have things to do. I have big things to do. Big things. Big things. I love you. Goodbye. Goodbye.